Hello there beautiful people, sexy people. I'm gonna play some video games. Games. Video games. Video games. <laughs> no, don't start that again. Don't say that. Don't say that. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. No, nothing. <laughs> don't take for anybody, please, Jesus. I told you, please don't take for a dude. This is crazy. You yeah. blown up. Yeah. And the front of the frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. I told you, don't. Don't take for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video more interesting. No, please, don't, don't, don't take that, please. No, I do serious. Don't take that. You're making it worse and embarrassing. Macho Man Randy Savage. Another, no, seriously, Abdul, don't take her. She makes it ugly, really. Black Lesnar. I'm just gonna show you the entrances. I actually like this better than 13. I think the graphics are much better. Remember what I always say, just because something is the latest, that don't make it the greatest. Oh yeah, Macho Man Randy Savage, oh yeah. The tower of power, too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey, oh yeah. The art articulation in this is awesome. You think so? This is what made Brock Lesnar come back. Brock Lesnar wasn't even wrestling when this game came out. This was a year and a half ago. This is what made him came back because Vince McMahon uh, uh, made him have a Legends contract, which means you could make toys out of you. We could put you in games, and then you just got to go along with it. Well, as long as they paid him, right? I think that's one of the reasons why they agree because they know they're getting a fat check. Mm -hmm. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar look like he's on crack. Nobody's eyes are that wide. <laughs> blink, motherfucker, blink. <laughs> blink. All right, now we're gonna go to one of my favorite games. Yeah, I'm gonna. Hold this. 
Thank you. One of the best Legends games ever. It makes me feel like Nintendo back in the day. It makes me feel like I'm back in the 80s back in the day. I love this game. Mwah! I love my video games like I love my women. I think I love women a little bit more. This is Pass me the remote. The remote. Beautiful. This is Legends of WrestleMania. McMahon finally got smart because that game that I showed you was from another maker and it was from a third party. It wasn't from any organization. But it was used the former WWE stars, this is when McMahon got smart and said, you know what, maybe I should make a Legends game alongside the SmackDown franchise. So we have something for the fans that like classical stuff and the movies and fans. This game was uh, about f four, four months apart from the SmackDown that came out of that year. This came out in 2009. I use this money that I paid for this game for my friends, you know, they gave me money for my birthday, so I put it all together. People like VV and Kyle and stuff well, back in the day, but Kyle sucks because he don't want to be my friend no more, so screw him. But um, here we go. And you get all the music from all the old school guys. This is Dusty Rhodes. We're going to do Hulk Hogan, title on the line, yes, versus Andre the Giant, just for shits and giggles. And I'm going to give you the exact arena where they fought. Get to pick the arenas, you get to pick up until um, 15. Here, here we go. WrestleMania 3 for real, for real. And I'm going to make Hogan win for real, for real. Look at the articulation and the beautiness that is this game. see the people in the crowd wearing old school shirts.
the, the ring announcer in the ring, I actually met him. He's a nice guy, Howard Finkel. He's been working for the WWE for 40 years. Wow. I can't even imagine working for somebody for 40 days. Ugh. Andre the Giant. Hogan! Hogan! I've got a claw hold of my own. His hands were big as Mitch. His hands were my hands put together. Literally. His ring size was a silver dollar. And a silver dollar is like that big. Could you imagine? Those are the biggest sausages. From Grenoble in the French Alps. He was about 7'4 and 700 pounds. He wasn't 500 pounds. He was more. He died at age 43. This is basically, this has no coordination. This is just button matching. Matching. Jim Ross and Jerry the King are all doing commentary. Before Hulk Hogan beat Andre the Giant, he was he was undefeated for 15 years. Before and, uh, Hulk Hogan beat him. Andre basically gave Hogan the torch and felt that he could do wrestling, he could bring wrestling and be the household name for years to come, which he has. Oh, I gotta do this over. Andre's beating me. I gotta get my belt back. I gotta get my belt back. Yeah, I don't like. Get used to that, big man, because I'm coming to get it. Not for long. Let's do this. Right? Right.
Cut my belt back. Cut my belt back. Cut my belt back. Go over there. I'm gonna pose. Go over there. 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 TV time, baby. Uh. All right, people. This is going to wrap it up here. I just want to say it's been fun. Abdul, have you had fun? Hell yeah. You see me playing and playing and playing and playing. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I got games everywhere. I got games up my ass. I got games in the iPod. I got games in, in, in the uh, portable systems over here. Systems to the left of me. Systems to the right of me. Rally and Thunder. And um, this is my magic one right here. Besides my remote control. And uh, I showed you some magic. So as I said before. And I'll say it again. Till next time. And now you know what the deal is. Peace.